Hello everyone, we will continue that topic dynamic functions in PF status or using PF status and as a part of that in the previous video, we are going for dynamic functions, but this time we will do everything using dynamic text. So as a part of that, what we have done while creating the PF status. We have not created the multiple buttons or functions. We have only one button or function and we have chosen the radio button for dynamic text. We have provided one field name and we are providing the values to that field name with the help of program in the or we can say from the program itself. We have provided the text. We have provided the icon ID. Now we will provide the icon text also. So how we will provide the icon text? Suppose I am writing LWA text. This is our icon text. We have the icon text. If I will show you already developed program in which we use that static text. If I will give the input, this is our icon text. Save the save which is written on the icon is our icon text. We will give icon underscore text. We will give save. Rather than providing the save, I will go for text symbol. Then we will create that text symbol. I will write text hyphen 0, 0. Same way will provide for this and same way I will provide for this transfer and post. This is our 004. This is our 005. We'll create these text symbols. I will go for go to text elements, text symbol. 003 is for save, 004 is for transfer, and 005 is for post. We will activate. Now, from the coding perspective, everything is done. We are passing the values to this work area. And this work area, or we can say this field, we are using here. So everything will replace at the runtime. Everything is dynamic. Now, now I will simply put the breakpoint and we will understand each and everything in that debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be automatically cleared. I'm running this program. First radio button, tick. I am giving input 1 to 5. Whenever first radio button is ticked, you can see this first condition is true. Now we are providing the text first. What is the text we are giving to save the data? But the icon ID, this is the icon ID. This is like a four digit icon ID. And what is the icon text? Icon text is save. Yes. Now, these other two conditions are false. Now, it is simply, simply going for this statement. Now, whenever it will go for this PF status, yes, there we have this LWA text. So, it will give this to save the data. This and this. Now, if I will go for execute, you can see. Everything is there. Yes, we will enable this back button. Yes. We have not done, we have not created three buttons and we are excluding those other two buttons. We are doing everything at runtime. Yes, this is the save icon text. This is the icon and what the text we provided to save the data. Now I will enable the back button first so that next time it's easy. We'll simply enable the back button. 
is our PF status function keys. I will go for back. Now, first part, save done. Now, I will go for execute. This time, we are going for transfer. Whenever we will go for transfer, you can see first radio button, false. Second radio button, true. Now, this time, what is our text? We are going for test text to transfer that data. This is our icon ID. Now icon changed. This is our icon text. What is the icon text now? Transfer. Yes. These all this particular thing we are passing. Yes. To this particular PF status. We have this in that PF status for that particular function. We have given LWA text. So these all things will be replaced. Now you can see everything replaced back button and enable and there are no multiple functions only one function is there yes now we will go for post i will go for execute so third radio button will be true so first radio button false second radio button false now third radio button is true you can see what is the text now. Now the text is to post the data. This is our icon ID. Now icon changed. And now the icon text change. These all things will go to that function. And we assigned that field LWA text. So it will simply, simply go for this. And you can see we are able to see yes. This is dynamic function, yes, because everything is changed. Yes, test is logic part. We need to write the logic depends upon the requirement. But this time we achieved dynamic functions using the concept of dynamic text. And any interviewer asks this question, yes, have you used dynamic text? We are always, always believing and we are always doing static text. We are always creating multiple functions. We are always going for static text. But if you are going for dynamic text at the runtime itself, you can change the values. So what is the summary of this whole particular topic? Yes, in this whole particular topic, yes, we have simply covered dynamic functions in PF status or using PF status. Firstly, we achieved the dynamic functions. At that time, we used the concept of excluding. Whatever the functions are not required, we simply, simply excluded using the excluding keyword. After that, in the second way, in the second way, what we have done, we have not created so many functions. We simply created one function and we are providing everything dynamically based upon the requirement. We are passing icon text, icon ID, whatever the I information text is there. Everything we are passing dynamically. And while creating that, rather than static text, we are using dynamic text. And this particular structure is playing a vital role because everything we are passing to the columns of this particular structure. So that's it into this video and after that we understood each and everything in the debugging mode and I showed you depends upon the radio button click how everything is changing for that particular function. So that's it in this video. Thank you.